Hi, this is Hannah, um, filming a video for Lincoln Book Festival with a newfound respect for people who do things on YouTube because I can't do this. Um, I'm the author of The Last, which is an apocalyptic murder mystery set in a remote hotel in Switzerland just after the outbreak of nuclear war. Um, and I was asked to talk a little bit about my writing schedule, um, which is also kind of difficult because I don't really have one. Um, I pretty much just doss around all morning. I have coffee, I have food, and then eventually through a kind of self-loathing and inner pressure, I start writing usually about two or three. Um, so basically any minute now. Um, and that's really about it. <laughs> Why write an apocalyptic novel? Or a dystopian novel? Um, I've talked about this a little bit before, but I think calling things dystopian as a genre is usually a bit of a luxury, given that most dystopian novels are just a lens for looking at the society we live in now. Um, and the vast majority of circumstances, like these are these are things that have actually happened to people. I mean, even me writing about nuclear war. I mean, this is this is something that the US has already inflicted on another country. Like they blew up, quite famously blew up two cities in Japan. Um, you know, The Handmaid's Tale, um, dealing with like reproductive oppression and justice. You know, this is all stuff that it, that was you know has been done to Native women and Black women in the US. Um, women around the world still experience things like this. Um, so dystopian novels can be a useful lens for looking at the society that we live in now, but only if we kind of don't think of them too much as dystopian futures, like a lot of these scenarios aren't futures. These are either very near pasts or things that are still happening, just not to, um, just not necessarily overtly in white Western countries. Um, so that's why I think dystopian and apocalyptic framing can be useful. Like one of my favourite examples of a someone who I consider a dystopian author would be something like Grapes of Wrath, um, you know, which is a novel about the Great Depression. Uh, it's about a country which decided to burn food stores, <laughs> food supplies during a kind of unprecedented food crisis. because you couldn't generate profit from it. So it was easier to burn it than to let people eat it. Like people would think of that as dystopian, but again, that's something that, that has already happened. It's something which is still happening. I mean, you see in the news now, like, you know, farmers burning mountains of potatoes and stuff. That's quite a, people call that a dystopian scenario, but it's not, it's just capitalism. Um, so yeah, I would think of like Steinbeck as a really good example of a kind of dystopian or ap apocalyptic author. And if you look at the etymology of the word apocalypse, uh, it comes from Greek origin, apocalypsis, which doesn't actually mean a kind of end of the world scenario. It, um, it, it means to reveal. Um, it's basically, it's a revelation. It's, it's a revelation about society that people weren't acknowledging before. I'm a book.